dear students welcome to institute for humanities political science has become one of the most sought after subject be it undergraduate course or the post graduate courses we will ensure that when you go for the cuet entrance for post graduation you are very well prepared now what is the best guide to start the preparation of course the previous year questions because we get the idea of the expectation and we can prepare in line of the questions which have been asked so today we are starting with the latest question paper that is from 2023 to understand the latest trend the question of today is let's have a look the question on rolls so rolls is obviously the all time favorite for the political science you all understand the importance of rolls and we cannot imagine any paper be it a graduation paper jrf paper or even upsc paper without rolls i need not to explain that the way we have the status of plato in classical political philosophy there is a similar status of rolls in contemporary political philosophy so what we can say about plato that entire western philosophy is nothing but footnote to plato or aristotle same can be said about rolls all contemporary philosophers whether you talk about nozick or you talk about dorkin you talk about amartya sen you talk about wilkem lika you talk about any other scholars they are going to to start their studies and their discussion over the work of rolls so i believe you all understand the importance of studying rolls so now let us see what has been the question from rolls a simple question but it is not necessary that simple question will continue because once these questions are exhausted they will enter into deeper though this is a little bit factual question there are two type of students some students find factual question difficult because they are memory based and some students find conceptual questions difficult because that is logic based so simple or difficult question depends upon what type of student you are anyway remembering lot many facts is not very easy yet it is expected that you all know the prominent works of rolls because of its importance and what is the way to remember the books remembering books is not just knowing and mugging up author and the books if you can relate it with the content discuss you should have something to bank on to remember remember this technique fine so when you are studying what are the prominent books of rolls don't just study like that just also try to see what is the content there because maybe the next year the question can be on the content content going beyond the books and their names so now the question is the book authored by john rolls on justice in international relations so we all are familiar about rolls book on political philosophy but they also want to know whether you are aware of rolls book on global justice fine 
So, now let us take the book. The first book is A Theory of Justice. Of course, this is the magnum opus of Rawls, where Rawls has discussed his theory of justice, where he describes justice as fairness and he has given the three principles, the liberty principle, the equality principle and the least advantaged section of the society related difference principle. Now, this particular book political liberalism, this is another very important book and very important for political science students because we get to know about what does political liberalism. What is the context of the book? The first book came under criticism from communitarians because this particular book takes a comprehensive view of justice and communitarians idea of justice is that it is very contextual, it is very community centric fine. So, in response to that Rawls gives a lesser ambitious idea, the idea of political liberalism where he accept Michael Walzer's criticism that there has to be spheres of justice and in this book he says that my theory justice as fairness is not meant for all spheres, it is just meant for the political sphere and a very expected question from this book will be the concept of overlapping consensus where in the first book justice is the comprehensive doctrine, but in the second book he says that people having different cultural backgrounds will develop an overlapping consensus on justice as fairness and he says that it is not a ethical conception of justice, it is a political conception of justice. Now, social justice in a liberal state, this is not Rawls book, this book is not expected that students will know, this is a Bruce Ackerman's book, but nobody will expect that you know this particular book. So, you could have eliminated it and now the laws of the people. Laws of the people is a very important book by Rawls on the issue of global justice. It was written in 21st century, it is the last book of Rawls when globalization was already there. So, the idea was whether in context of the emerging global civil society, Rawls will accept to expand his difference principle for the people living in the global south. Considering the fact scholars like Thomas Pogge, he said that when the people in south, they are in poverty because of the policies of the people in north, why difference principle should not be extended between societies. So, here Rawls has said that is still we do not have a world government, we cannot extend the difference principle and he gives the laws of the people where he suggests that there is certain code of conduct which is to be followed by the people in interacting fine, where he says that uh, there is a responsibility of the people of north, but only in exceptional situations like natural disasters or war. Otherwise, the basic principles, the basic liberal principle, respect international treaty, respect sovereignty etcetera is there. I hope you have got some idea about these books and you will go through these books and get try to get some more idea based on the light of the doc, uh, discussion I have done. Now, I will give you some visuals so that it will be easy to remember and relate. This is a theory of justice given by Rawls, where basically he has provided a criticism of utilitarians fine. And what is the main contribution of Rawls is methodology, the hypothetical me method which is known as original position and veil of ignorance. Okay? Now, 
this book political liberalism i was talking about where he has given the political conception of justice and his famous concept of overlapping consensus this is the book which he has written primarily in response to communitarian criticism they can ask which communitarian criticism has influenced more there are two prominent communitarians michael sandel who wrote liberalism and limits of justice and michael walzer the spheres of justice so in this book he is trying to address primarily walzer's argument and this is the laws of the people which we were talking about where he talks about the application of concept of public reasoning in international relations that the rational persons how they are going to deal with each other and of course he doesn't extend the principle of difference between the societies so i hope if you remember the visuals find out some or the other way to remember the things thank you